Well, hey guys, it's happening. We're sitting here waiting for our car to be done. Uh, yeah, Jackson Washington Monsters University, if you couldn't understand what that was, a lot of fun. So, uh, we have a bunch of stuff going on. Getting ready to go to South Carolina, got a 10 hour drive ahead of us. Not looking forward to that, because I means I have to drive for a while with it, and I don't really want to drive because I hate driving, but whatever, clear ass full hearts can't lose. Um, like you're gonna drive all of it. No, I'm not gonna drive all of it. I said I'm gonna drive some of it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, I don't know. It's a lot of things have gone on in the last couple of days or two. Um, dares, dares, dares or two, whatever. Um, some good, some bad. A lot of indifferent. Um, NBA free agency's been in full force. It's been a lot of fun. Um, some new guys going to new places. Kyrie and Durant in Brooklyn. Kemba to Boston. Still on the fence about where Kawhi's going. I think he goes to LA. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be. We're going to be quick because I got long ones that I need to record about NBA free agency and about uh, my reaction to Fighter Fest. But I guess the elephant in the room um, yesterday afternoon, I got a really weird email notification or Twitter notification that Tyler Skaggs, the 27 year old pitcher of the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, had passed away. Um, I don't think there's really a way to process getting that text or getting that uh, notification. So I strolled through Twitter. Uh, I've seen countless reactions from everybody across the uh, baseball landscape from uh, his teammates, Shea Otani and Mike Trout, um, openly grieving on Instagram to the great words from Giancarlo Stanton, who went through this situation uh, with the untimely passing of Jose Fernandez. Um, Justin Bohr, a, member of, a current member of the uh, Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, and a guy that we Cornered the market of Fat Kid Certified, embracing, um, is now a member of this Angels team, um, waiting to kind of see a statement from him to see how he, uh, how he's handling the situation, knowing that he went through the Jose Fernandez situation. Um, there's not a real way to process this to make it right. Um, I didn't know Tyler Skaggs. I never got to watch him pitch in person. I've seen him pitch countless times on TV, but from what everybody's telling me, uh, friend, foe, teammate, opponent everyone seemed to love his energy um and it sucks there's no real way to process uh that a 27 year old is gone um unfortunately they were on the road in dallas uh they found him unresponsive and pronounced him dead on the scene there is no further information about a cause of death or anything along those lines and i'm going to be 100 percent frank with you guys i wouldn't comment on it if there was because the, the, the reason or the way he passed really is irrelevant. It's the fact that we lost a 27-year-old soul way too early. Um, so from everybody at Fat Kid Certified Sports Entertainment, we offer our condolences to Tyler's family, his wife, the Angels organization, Major League Baseball as a whole. Um, that's probably all I'm going to really say about it because I don't really want this to be anything more than a, a, a memorial and a remembrance of him um, because I don't want this to be a breathing ground for people to start oh well it was suicide it was drugs it was this it was that we don't know and I you know what I really don't care to know what it is a 27 year old is gone a mother and father have lost their child way too soon and a wife has lost her husband um, it sucks but we picked the pieces up they're going to play today. They, they had yesterday off, so hopefully the Angels team together can have this moment um, to use it as a, as a moment to come together. And hopefully they can use this as a little bit of therapy as we're getting ready to get into the All-Star break. Hopefully those guys can, uh, can get themselves to the break and get themselves together and, you know, lean on each other in these trying days in the next couple of weeks. So, uh, again, for everybody at Fat Kid Certified Sports Entertainment, we offer our condolences to the Skaggs family. Um, and other than that, uh, I'll be back with full episodes of the show in the coming days. Um, we are leaving for South Carolina, so I'm going to film some stuff today. We'll release one today. We'll release one probably tomorrow. Take off the 4th of July, and we'll pick this bitch back up on uh, when Carol gets back from South Carolina. <laughs> She's driving, and I'm flying because i got to come back to go to work. So, uh, again, um, you'll be back Sunday, Sunday night, so we probably won't put anything up till Monday. Um, we'll try to record we'll, we'll, we'll do there. some we'll do some stuff on the road if there's something big that that transpires we'll put up a quick one like I'm doing right now but uh you do want to go to the Pelicans we'll see in coastal Carolina we'll see if we can get to a Pelicans game if not at least to the team store we'll record some stuff there uh, we'll figure it out but uh we're gonna take this time now that we're gonna go uh, we're gonna get our stuff done um, we got a 10 hour drive ahead of us um, we gotta get our car be, back first it's gonna be a lot of fun so we'll see what happens from there but uh 
Feel free to uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, follow me on Instagram, Facket Certified SE, and on Twitter at They Call Me Burn. Uh, until the next video, that's going to be a lot more fun than this one because this one wasn't fun. I know it's only five minutes, but this one hurt a little bit. So uh, until the next fun one that comes out, which will probably be AEW Fighter Fest review, we'll talk about that. And then I got an NBA free agency one that we're probably going to hit on as well. So until then, uh, hug your loved ones. Tell them that you love them. Goodbye.